Turning now to the other major scandal in Canadian politics. They were once conservative stars, handpicked for the Senate by the Prime Minister. And today, they are cast outs, voted out by their colleagues. Mike Duffy, Pamela Wallen, Patrick Brazo have all been suspended without pay. Our senior correspondent, Terry Molesky, has the details for us. Terry. Well, Peter, this chapter of the Senate scandal is finally over, but just the chapter, not the book. The Prime Minister has managed to get the three senators kicked out of the Senate, but they are not going quietly. I think it's a extremely sad day for democracy. If we can't expect the rule of law in Canada, then where on earth can we expect it? All three senators insist they were railroaded by their own party, even as the government leader said they had it coming. The misconduct of these three senators called for firm action, and that is what we have taken. The Liberals claim that all of this is a distraction. We think that it was more designed to suit the political purposes of the Prime Minister to shut these three senators up uh, before they could uh, get out any more damaging material which destroyed or further destroys uh, the Prime Minister's credibility. But the Prime Minister got what he wanted. All three senators gone. Well, Mr. Speaker, I think the facts are absolutely clear that they have not acted in a way that respects taxpayers' dollars and done so on a very large scale. And the consequence for that, in our judgment, should be that they should be removed from the public payroll. We urge the Senate to do that immediately. The Tories applauded, never mind that all three senators were appointed by Harper, and never mind that in Mike Duffy's case, Harper's closest aide covered the bill for his expenses. None of that helped. All three are out for two years with nothing but their health benefits. Mike Duffy and Pamela Wallen, both former TV stars who have now turned on the Prime Minister, and Patrick Brazo, another former Harper loyalist. Defiantly, he tweeted, I was put under the bus by Prime Minister Stephen Harper, and I will not go away. Nor will Mike Duffy, who warned in a statement that the page isn't going to be turned on this issue for a long time. The Prime Minister's own office is under criminal investigation by the RCMP. Certainly, the opposition is not turning the page. Tom Mulcair continues to ask about the scheming in the Prime Minister's office to pay Duffy's bill. Uh, this uh, office will give the RCP any and all assistance it requires. It is Harper said as little as possible about it, but his critics kept at it. This process by which Mr. Harper is trying to cover up uh, and whitewash and make the scandal disappear uh, by exposing the problem rather than taking responsibility is not something we need to be encouraging. Now, tonight, the Prime Minister's office says that booting out the three senators was, quote, the right thing to do. But the opposition says this is not nearly over. For one thing, Duffy. He didn't show up today. He has heart trouble, but he may give his email files to the RCMP. So the senators may be gone, but the scandal is not. Peter. Terry's outside the uh, Parliament buildings tonight. Thanks, Terry.